It's about 7.30. We left camp uh, right around 7. Sun's coming out. I've got it on portrait mode so you can't really see that well. But there's a mountain with sun. It looks funny. It's just like yellow. Anyways, uh, yeah, last official day on the PCT. And I started it by a petty argument with my wife about who should have grabbed the last tent stick that had the rain fly still staked down. So that was kind of stupid. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just like, uh, it's kind of hitting, you know, like thinking about all the friends back home, my family, we're going to be moving to a new city. Uh, we'll probably be going to Austin. That's where a lot of my friends are. It's where I went to college. Um, so yeah, I think it's just kind of hitting. It's a little overwhelming. Um, a lot of times whenever I have big things coming up, like whenever I moved to South Korea, before I started the AT, things like that, I feel chill, you know, like cool, calm. But then I start getting a lot of neuroses. And I think internally, my brain's like, whoa, what are we doing? So that's kind of what I'm going through. A little bittersweet, I guess. Um, and I didn't expect it to happen. It's not fun. Uh, feeling at conflict at the end of a goal. Uh, you know, I should just be like, woo, and I do feel that way, but life is uh, still real. I'm going to switch this so you can see what's actually going on behind me. But that's it. I'm excited. We're about 15 miles from the border, and I guess that was just a rant about even whenever you have a big achievement coming up, and it should be spectacular sometimes life gets in the way and you you know you got to deal with other stressors or things that might be taking you out of the moment you think you should have but that's just life you got to be on your life raft in the wave pool you know what i mean move up and down with the tide That's pretty cool. All the fog collecting in the valley. That's where we were camped. We've probably gone like a thousand feet over a couple miles since we left camp. Some more of what I showed you this morning, but just a different vantage point. We're headed up to Rock Pass right now. Hey, what's up, party people? Check this out. It this <laughs> it looks really funny in the camera because of the scale of things, because that's like huge area and valley. Um, so yeah, pretty dope. We got a bit farther up, and uh, I I can't capture it with the phone. I mean, that's kind of the story of the trail. Is like a I just can't. I can't. You have to come here. You have to be here that's all there is so i'm sorry i did my best to capture it but it's kind of not doing it not doing it justice like i said like i always say here's my head for scale i have something to say what do you got to say mom dad y'all should come out here and hike this is pretty cool it's a pretty easy hike well it's a video it's still cool I just think the other side was better. We're at the top of Rock Pass. Okay, so you can't see our tent. It is right over there behind those trees. Uh, we set up our tent, took out our sleeping bags and extra clothes and stuff. Basically, we're just carrying our food We've got 11 miles to the terminus, and then we'll hike back to our tent, camp there for the night, 
and then make our way back to Hearts Pass tomorrow where my aunt will be picking us up. It'll be pretty chill tomorrow. Originally, we were gonna do 25 miles a day. Um, past two days, we did 26. So that put us a little closer. And then we just did, I'll stop. <sighs> Okay, and then uh, we just did like six so far today, plus 22. So we'll do like a 28 or 29 mile day. Not too bad though, I've only got my food. So should move pretty quick. But yeah, here we go. That's Canada. Maybe not everything, but Canada's over there. That's Canada over there, dude. Over there, over here, that way. That's Mexico. That's where we started from, right? That's Canada, Mexico. Mexico, Canada. Pretty crazy, pretty cool. Smells like dead fish. Yep. It is 1.58, September 23rd. We are about three miles from the Canadian border on the Pacific Crest Trail. We just saw some of our good friends on their victory lap, so I guess it paid off in the long run. Um, so yeah, just going through all this brushy stuff. Right now, not too bad though. I uh, feel a little more amped up. I was feeling kind of lethargic. I've been cranky all day, hungry. We didn't really sleep very well the past couple nights. Um, so yeah, I didn't realize how exhausted I was until a little earlier. But we had lunch, nice stop. Feeling charged up, dude. That's it. <laughs> Two miles left. That's it. That's all, I just wanted to. One mile left. Got some brushy stuff, some slick dirt stuff. Less than a mile to go into Canada. And we are pushing through some more rugged terrain. Point two miles from the northern terminus of the Pacific Crest Trail the border of the U.S. and Canada. Ah, pretty sick. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you feel me doing that? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And then it's going to be a clip of me doing that. I think everyone's going to be like, we get it. We get it, we get it. Woo! 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because like it was, uh, it was open essentially for the section, but closed for through hikers last year. Yeah, and it was one of the safest places it could be. Um, so that's it. Uh, it is. What time is it? I'll check my watch. Three forty-five. On September 23rd, 2021, we hit the border at 2.55. We're only five days outside of our projected permit end date, which is pretty cool. It was originally September 18th. We're here September 23rd. That's okay. I'm really proud of our effort. We moved along. And that's it. Thank you for joining if you're not you know someone i know personally but you saw me on the internet i appreciate all the support couldn't have done it without it honestly um you know fortunately a lot of positive comments a couple negatives but that's that's what happens when you put yourself out there so yeah what's next you might be asking we're, we're gonna get jobs dude we're gonna get jobs and make money and pay taxes and stuff. So we'll probably be normal for a little bit. Um, I think we've decided we're retiring from any kind of long trail session that's longer than a thousand miles. Oh yeah, there were other people at the monument. So I didn't record this video there. It would have probably looked a lot cooler. But now we got some good lighting. So that's it. Fini, fina. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Well, they don't know how much water they need. 